Good morning, B staff, Fishing Nation. Today, oh my goodness, hold on, I don't know what day it is. It's the 19th of May, Friday. High tide, 8.48, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. I gotta hold my phone and keep it somewhat cupped here because it's breezy and it's been blowing. I should've got out Monday and then, you know, this week it's been pretty, pretty blustery. This weekend, it's gonna be somewhat of a blowout and a rain out. So today's the day and, um, Listen, I'm, I probably need my head examined going out today, but let's do it. Uh, we're going to sneak back into uh, a couple of the sounds, a couple of the channels. We're going to see if we can find ourselves our first keeper flounder of the season uh, during the actual season because I caught a couple of real nice ones preseason. And we'll go from there. So, uh, give it our best shot. But, man, I'm telling you what, we got boats going by us. We got it. It's still an incoming tide. Wind is out of the east, southeast, and it's just pushing. <laughs> Boats are just whipping on by. So thank God for the Minco trolling motor. We're going to give things a shot. Uh, gulp, gulp grubs, pink shine, you know the deal. Uh, click down below, Instagram, Facebook, B Staff Fishing. Let's join the family. And uh, like, subscribe, say your prayers. Put a man upstairs. Wish me luck today. And man, this shoulder's been, been barking lately, so it's kind of been put me in like a downer mood, so I'm trying to shake off the funk. Let's go fishing. Beast that fishing nation. You ever hear the saying, don't run over fish to find fish? Well, I was at my dock preparing to shove off when a guy behind me catches a 25 inch fan. I had a plan and I wanted to stick to my plan. just crazy this is first off you guys look at this water this is all wind and uh i hope it lays down because if it doesn't i'm in for a uh i'm gonna be in for a rude awakening today that's for sure but we are uh fishing the incoming tide trying to make my way back into one of the sounds and um I need my head examined. This might have been one of the days I should have stayed in stayed in the house, but you know what? I, I'm in a funk with this shoulder of mine, and I, I've just not been fishing, and it's been windy, and I'm being, you know, being a sissy about things, and you know, and I just had a hit, so maybe I should just pay attention, see if this thing comes back, right? He's back. He's back. Okay, let me spot lock myself so I can stay where I'm at. All right, that's one. That's one. I need to get my handy dandy, handy dandy uh, <laughs> net over here. So I have a net on each side. Um, guys, I am literally in my slip preparing the boat to get, come out and I watch a guy catch a 25 incher right behind me. But I had a game plan, right? And I wanted to stick to my game plan. So that being said, um, you know, I'm trying to stick to a game plan here. My game plan was come back to this other sound. Um, I'm going to show you a picture of a fish that Captain Jerry caught last week. Uh, and I'm not messing with his spot. It's his spot. So, I, you know, it's just, not that it's his spot. Nobody owns anything. But, you know, but uh, wait till you see this picture that Captain Jerry uh, of the fish Captain Jerry caught last week. Um, or the beginning of the week rather on Monday, which was probably the, the only fishable day this week. So I had a little fun with Captain Jerry's photo because quite honestly, I haven't caught a fish like that in years. Although, was it Jerry's fish or was it mine? 
You decide. All right, that was one. One first drop, one fish came back and hit it. You saw what happened, guys. I wasn't paying attention. I missed that fish, came back and got him, right? Came back and got it. So throw it back in their face, stuff it in their mush. Beast at Fishing Nation, there were times, without a word of exaggeration, these winds were at least 20 to 25 mile an hour gusts. It was, it was just insanity. mouth god almighty come on I, i'm afraid it's uh oh oh crabs crabs something i don't know something's down there oh ain't no crab mm. that's a flounder oh man they're shallow striking okay he was short he's short but he's a striker all right let's go Son of a gunner. Man, he hit, dropped it, hit, and dropped it. Here's another one. Oh, oh. Guys, this one might be the one. This one might be the one for the day. Oh, he's small, but he's fighting up a storm. God almighty. All right, he came back and hit it. Okay. Woo, be staff fishing. I'm back, baby. For now. Oh, man, everything's catch and release today. <laughs> be mackerel. All right, you were definitely short. Well, oh, thank you. Let's go. Off the anchor. I got a feeling that when this tide starts to run out, now you're really going to have wind wind against tide but but I got a feeling it's uh they're gonna fire up because there's a cold front coming in and uh I think they're gonna fire up it's supposed to get rain tonight tomorrow whatever it is so I wanted to get out here I like this wind because even though I'll have an outgoing tide when I'm trying to dock I'll Use the wind to push me into my dock. Girls, I am with my pal Jimmy Ducks back here in the sound. He just snuck in here, and man, you can't be in better company than, than being with Jimmy Ducks. So I'm going to give this a shot. Man, this is this wind is just atrocious. Absolutely atrocious. I'm telling you, this is duck weather. This is what that's what this is. This is definitely duck weather. Alright guys. Lip glue the stink. Now guess what? I gotta dig them out. I got the new lip glue. It's the same, same recipe, same recipe, but man, it's a whole brand new look. Wait, where are we at here? I gotta find them in my little bag of tricks. I think I got the new one. Oh, hoo -hoo. guys, look at this. Look at this. Lip glue the stink, baby. Red, white, and blue. Lip glue. I love it. I love it. Signal 11 lures, guys. Go get them. Go get them. Link's down below. Link is down below for that. You guys know that. Link is down below. Gotta be on it because I'm coming up now. I'm in 9 foot of water. I was in 15 foot of water. Now I'm in 9 foot of water. Right? Let's drop back down and get straight up and down. And then before I get too shallow, I'm going to get out of here. But, you know, I want a straight up and down presentation. I'm moving about a half a mile an hour looking good I can't believe these planes are up on a day like today this breeze this breeze oh yeah following Jimmy Ducks out of here
come back in my sound sound that's right you know behind my dock and uh man it's just gonna be rough it's literally wind against tide winds coming out of the southeast east southeast and uh i'm gonna be uh having some issues here seriously just, i don't know if i just got hit or if i just hung up let me see everything looks good get back down this is gonna be uh it's gonna be tough it's gonna be tough I'm gonna give the sound a try and then i'm gonna just i might go right back in the channel where those, uh, i watched those other fish caught and i should have never left but i did it is what it is so again working the trolling motor hard today real hard and uh i'm about a 0 0.6 0 0.7 mile per hour and she's at, set at about a five and a half right now I'm trying to keep her pointed right into the wind so the boat doesn't keep spinning let's see let's see what happens we have three three shorts just looking for that elusive uh -oh. oh darn oh, i just hung up shoot all right turn around this wind is honking this is every bit of 25 mile an hour winds every bit said the only good news is it'll blow me right into my dock boom baby come on oh my goodness oh my god it was sucked to the bottom that thing was sucked on the bottom sucked on the bottom what did i just that was a big fish got him started and lost him it wasn't the best of hook sets kind of came tight kind of came tight on him darn it i really have no idea what that was i honestly thought it was going to be an absolute doormat flounder in all reality could have been a behemoth crab sucked into the mud and just grabbed my my jig going by i'm not sure we'll never know That felt big, real big. All righty, beast out fishing nation. Um, did I did I leave fish to go find fish? Did I drive over fish to find fish? I don't know. I think I did because I watched two two pretty nice fish being caught right there, right? So, literally, you know, right behind my dock. But I had a plan. I stuck to it. I caught three fish back there, and. Uh, Man, I came back to my sound over here. See you guys, good luck. You too, good luck. Have a great season. And um, I uh, stuck to my plan. And, uh, you know, for better or for worse, for richer or for poor. And uh, didn't work out. So, hey, that's that. Um, but it's three fish I wouldn't have caught sitting, uh, if I was sitting home, right? Three or four fish, I think. So. Nonetheless, um, I will get back out here next week. Hopefully now that we're going to start seeing some temperatures in the 70s. You know, things are going to start to heat up back here. Winds will start to calm down. It's been just brutal with some of these winds. So I will get them. Make no mistake. I never give up. You know that. So like, subscribe, say your prayers to the man upstairs. Hit me up below. Instagram, Facebook, Beast Out Fishing. Get out there, go fishing.